100 Thieves is a weird one because they look good, but they were losing, but like nobody knows if they're really good or not, and they play good teams, so we're just kind of going to play our own game. We have Oxy, so we don't have to think that much other than that. BG seeming content in these first couple of rounds just to play front B into C, but the Marshall coming around the corner. Oxy is going to be frying with that one. Easy shot. Oh, the guy's going to double touch one to the oh. okay, Oxy. <laughs> I'm actually just the best player in Mount. I don't know. I think C9 is a pretty aggressive team, especially with Oxy being their duelist. He's super good and just thriving in the chaos, just kind of entering. So I think really surprising for me. Through the smoke onto Trent, and I see us no way to trade that one on out. It is attrition for 100 Thieves as they slowly flood back in. The usual setup for Cryo is lovely. 1v1, I say! He wins the clutch! 100 Thieves win a series! Welcome back to day three of Super Week, and we are officially at that halfway point. There's five matches left, and our next one is going to be a fun NA showdown. You got Cloud9 versus 100 Thieves. Of course, I'm Golden Boy. You got Athena. You got me. You got Ender. We're all here. Yo, why'd you get less yeah. enthusiastic about it? What's I going mean, on? You know, I'm just running down the list. I'm just saying you guys know your names, right? Golden I mean, I mean, friends at yeah. the desk. Yeah. I do, I do like it when they say GB and the analyst test. Makes it sound like a really cool band, you know, that mm. unfortunately didn't have any hits. Uh, in any case, though, folks, let's go ahead and get into this match and talk about 100 Thieves. Now, after a rough week one, Bustio definitely has come online for this team. And not only that, they were able to get a massive win over G2 that has kind of re maybe rejuvenated this team, so to speak. It had almost been a year since a regular season win. 11 months on the dot. Ridiculous. <laughs> But they pulled it off here, and they looked great in this game against G2. I think Lucio was really the guy I walked away from so impressed with in that matchup. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially a lot of the, the ways they reacted to the comp G2 was playing on a map like Bind here. Right, they were playing heavy backside, flooding in, realizing the limitations of the comp they were playing against. And that's got to be Bustio, right, making those calls uh, to deal with what's coming at them. Yeah, I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. Mimi's got a mic now. <laughs> He didn't want to hear from me. <laughs> She's been censored. I was just bad testing about Bustio. The calls in the match. No, were no, no, no more Bustio. <laughs> We've had enough Bustio. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Let's uh, focus on another player from 100 Thieves. How about yeah. that? Let's talk about EU because, and I'm not talking about the region. <laughs> in any case, I just had to get that one in there. Come Give on, it man. to me, please. Okay. One, and one a week. All right. But in any case, so folks, uh, uh, played fade, dominated, looked really good, Athena. And honestly, like seeing EU pop off here I've been mean, casting this dude forever. It's just nice to see him finally find that success. Yeah, it feels like he's finally found his spot on this team where he can prove himself to be such a big, big addition. Not only does he know how to communicate those rotations and talk about the information that he's found, he takes a lot of the alpha leading scenarios where he does push in to take that information. He uses his info uh, utility really, really well to find out and deliver what the team needs to do, their rotations, the adaptation, how the other team is playing, and I feel like that's what 100 Thieves really, really did well against G2. Yeah, and the team identity right now for 100 Thieves seems to be playing a lot of these comps where you're running the fade yep. and that mm -hmm. gecko at the same time. Most teams are playing the, the, the gecko KO where you have that flash combo. They have this different approach where you have the scans from the fade, you're flooding back in, combined with that gecko utility, and it's really cool. It gives you a lot of options, especially at being proactive in these set plays in the reclear, and I think that EU does a great job of balancing when he's using that utility, especially those uh, those uh, those dogs that aren't yeah. recharging on when you're committing that stuff in. He has a really great understanding of the timings on the agent and combos yeah. so well with the rest of the and, and it makes sense, too, because he's been an, an elite fade player for years yeah, now. long time. Right? I, I think that it makes sense that 100 Thieves are building their comps in a way like this. Ever since the Sky nerfs came through, they have shifted over to playing a lot of fade, even on maps like Split, which not a lot of teams are really doing in the current meta. So yeah. I think that just the fact that they've got this guy on the roster, it makes sense how yeah. they have shifted their read on the meta since those changes. Yeah, well, let's actually go ahead and hear from the man himself. We got EU standing by with Elizabeth to get his thoughts ahead of this matchup. EU, can I talk to you really quickly? Thank you. All right, very quick question. What are the vibes of the team after getting that win over G2? Uh, I mean, honestly, the one thing that surprised me the most is after we won, Boosty said that that win felt better than winning champs, so I'd say pretty good. All right, well, best of luck today.
That was fascinating. Better so the, than winning <laughs> champs. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I think that's Cap. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Busio is such a, like, a vibes guy, right? Yeah. Even if that's not totally true. That's not vibes. Like... That's snake oil, Mimi. What? Like, what? No, no okay. that's not I real. I think the energy, the hype, that's exactly <laughs> what 100 Thieves needed. We've known this team is good. They've had good ideas. The players have looked great, but they haven't been winning but matches. See, this is, he's, so, he's done them a disservice because now none of them want to win champs because they know what it's like. <laughs> I don't know oh if that's okay. how but that if works. It's the snake oil they needed. Yeah. They, they were following so, the cart. They wanted the snake oil so bad. Now the team believes behind him. This is the only time I've ever heard snake oil be used in a, a positive manner. I'm a big manner. fan of snake oil. <laughs> He's a big fan. We found the salesman here, everyone. All right, folks. Well, look, 100 Thieves could be back, but, uh, you know, I got maybe some bad news because they're going to have to play against C9 today. And this is a squad coming off of a win over Loud that you even heard Rooney in the piece ahead of this. They don't know what to expect from 100 Thieves. They're not sure where they fall in the pecking order, Athena. And for C9, that just sounds like confidence, especially when you have Oxy just leveling up every time out there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, every single time that you have a star player that you know will consistently perform, especially as well as Oxy has, you're going to be confident going into it. And I really feel like the past few weeks, C9 has found some sort of identity. I do think they like to be kind of wild with it, but... I think they're playing great. And this win meant so much to Vanity. You see it here in his tweet. He's saying that he's only been hearing that he didn't deserve to be in partnership for so long. So many guys doubted this team, right? Doubted this project, doubted Vanity as a leader. But he's come out and led his team to a 3-0 start. And, I mean, you saw it on the stage. He said he's almost staring up. Liar. He was He was. It happened. <laughs> and it's just 4K. a game like that means so much for this team. It's been an incredible run for them thus far. All right, Mimi. Which win meant more, beating G2 or beating Loud? Loud. Okay, so <laughs> oh, there it is. There Not it even is. a split second of hesitation. <laughs> All right, folks, I mean, let's, just, uh, let's go ahead hard. and send it over to the new mustachio menace because we have Vanity standing by with Elizabeth. Look at his mustache. <laughs> Vanity, can I have a quick word? Yeah. Thank you. So this week, you took down Loud. What did that win mean to you? Uh, I'm feeling thank you. Buy the bundle, I guess. <laughs> Elizabeth's having none of those shenanigans out there. Uh, but, you know, uh, I, look, I think that for this C9 team, they have, as you had mentioned, right, a, a team that has kind of been unsure of what to expect coming into the season. But now, like, we're in a position where C9 could very well find themselves maybe even going to Shanghai. Like, this team is playing very, very well at the moment. They're 100% on a roll. Right now. And and that's why, like, focusing in on the series at hand, I think they have a pretty big edge. We touched on it a little bit at the start of the show, but when you look at the styles and the two ways these teams like to play, 100 Thieves love to get in your, your setups, your full setups. If you're completely drawn up in the Valor plant, you're ready to press that exec button on that uh, attack or the retake on defense. But the way Oxy plays, it just doesn't give you a moment to breathe. He's always trying to anticipate your yeah. next move and take those chances that a team like 100 Thieves might not even see coming. I will say in their win last week, I, I think for 100 Thieves, we saw a lot more of their on-the-fly stuff and the, the adaptation. The bind game in particular, I think Busio did a great job calling slowing down these rounds and 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 calling a ton of fakes, a ton of late-round changes sure. that were super effective. And I think those aren't just those preset ideas, even if with these double sure, standard issue sure. comps, they're still super effective. Yeah, I think that the credit is certainly due, but it's also not a one-to-one -one comparison in terms sure. of what they can bring in today, because I think he was specifically fine finding a lot of the weaknesses in G2's gameplay. I think with C9, it's more about predicting the moves that they're trying to take to I you. mean, the thing about C9 is I think they are by far the best team that forces the opposing team to play to their style and play to their timing. Like, C9 forces every single team to go when they want to go. They will force them into spots and choke points when they want them to. So I feel like they have that in terms of structure, but everything else is just free form. Everyone just go kill. And that's why I think C9 kind of of has an upper hand in this. I don't know. I feel 100 Thieves, they have really good structure and as much as protocols can be used to kind of respond to whatever C9 is doing, it's hard when it's like completely random. 100%. It's it's when when Oxy is taking these crazy timings that you've already seen so many teams mm -hmm. falter to, right? Whether that's him sneaking behind them while they're trying to plant the spiker and pushing into the spawn after yeah. an exec in. Those are the things that can really get away from you in the heat of a moment when, when the round state just completely turns on a dime. You have to be ready after yeah, a, yeah, a lot of those ideas, too, is that duo of him and Zeppa together. We
We talked a lot about this with old C9. But Dev is a player who, with his duelist, even if his duelist, like Oxy keeps saying, isn't thinking, is going to be setting up, uh, him up for the play, yeah. calling for these adaptations in the mid round. That uh, kind of the volatility works so well for Cloud9. Now, there is something that you got to keep in mind, though, because even though there's a lot of really good things to check out for C9, one thing that has kind of crept up is that the team just seems to really like losing that first map. <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah. teams are constantly happy, which, you know, hey, maybe just want to hey. make it a little exciting for themselves. I don't know. Consistency <laughs> is key. Oh, yeah. Yippee. <laughs> it, it, is a, it is a funny coincidence. I think it's not so real personally. I, yeah. I definitely think like the first two weeks, maybe some slow starts, but that game against Loud, that was a good game. I think they, they choked very a couple true. of critical rounds and could have very easily made this a 2-0 series, had those rounds, especially some late rounds where they got thrifty by Loud in the second half. But I think what we're seeing towards the end of these games is comebacks and dominant wins. Even in that Loud series, those second two maps really looked mostly in control for Cloud9 yeah. across the board. They are so good at turning around these slow starts and ending up honestly stomping these series yeah. that if they get a good start at the beginning, if they're winning some pistols, they can pick up a map one, mm -hmm. the team looks even more dangerous. I I don't think the slow starter narrative is super real. Yeah, that's one of the things why, I, again, I genuinely think C9 does such a good job at making other people play to their timing. Because even though they are losing those first maps, they're using that time to adapt and to understand how this other team play style is going to feed into theirs. And they completely, like, a little disease, like, take over their <laughs> play style. And they're like, yeah, you guys are going to come stand from the smoke, and we're going to push through it, and you guys are going to lose a round. And that's just how I feel like C9 plays. Dr Dragging everyone into the yeah. mud. Yeah, you know what? Really. You guys said the, the first uh, map one thing could be a false narrative. Let's go ahead and hear from Rooney and find out what he thinks about their problems with that first map. Uh, I think we've been playing pretty well so far. Uh, we just need to figure out what's going on in map one, or like our map picks. I think we're just starting slow, so uh, it should be an easy fix, but, or maybe we should let them pick all three maps. Who knows? <laughs> That could hey, fix them. Sounds like solutions. Sounds like we have options. No, it sounded like the they didn't know what was going wrong. <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, I mean, it could very well be the case here. We'll, of course, find out and see how all the chips fall when we dive into the matchup here. But Cloud9 cannot afford to let their foot off of the gas because the number one spot for Alpha is up for grabs. And it could very well be C9 finding themselves in that situation, especially especially with the strength of schedule. Yo, the flawless run looks real doable. It could happen. Right now, like, I think they got some of the hardest matchups out of the way. And out of these three remaining teams, 100 Thieves mm -hmm. definitely the strongest contender on that front. So if they do good work today, they are looking, I, I think, to go all the way through the playoffs. Yeah, if they beat 100 Thieves, I mean, it's not just playoffs. It is a flawless run. And what that means in this format is one match away from qualifying to Shanghai. If you rewind to the beginning of the... <laughs> To kick off, to the expectations <laughs> of this Cloud9 team. It was really a mirror. Up. I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> get them, get them it, it was a mirror of last year, right? Where they made a roster change to surprise people at the beginning of the year where stocks completely fell. And then they have just come out and impressed. And for me, it is just about closing the deal at this point for Cloud9. Yeah, I mean, when I first saw the fir the additions of Rooney and Moose, like, I wasn't convinced. You weren't I, convinced by minus I, Rooney plus Rooney? <laughs> minus Rooney plus Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like C9 made a lot of these choices that were questionable for me. And I'll be honest, I was a C9 doubter. But when you look at how they've been playing, and I have no idea how they got here, but they've been playing so well. They've established this sort of play style around them and I don't I don't really understand exactly how they've done it and I don't understand how they can fix their first map but if it works you guys it can works. tell just me just lose the first map you it guys works. can tell me I'm a fraud it's perfectly fine you're a fraud, I mean, you're you're fraud. okay well I no. didn't get to say what I was <laughs> gonna next. say but it does, it does kind of sort of feel a little bit like EG from last year not in exactly the same way but a scrappy team that's just like figuring it out that continues to power through and obviously the results aren't one-to-one -one, but it does feel like this is a squad that is kind of like just got bonded over their defeats their losses took that personally and then put that time in just like the way EG did last year in making rookies work and kind of making a miracle happen from low expectations I agree but where I disagree is I don't 
I don't think there's a match in style at all. I think these oh, teams yeah, could for... not be more different. Makes sense. EG last year was a squad defined by their set plays, by their prep, by mm-hmm, their excellent mm-hmm. counter strating and how adaptable they were in their comps. Cloud9 is a team that's defined by how damn good they are at adapting in a match, at going for plays that really take hold of that tempo, like you were saying. It's a very unique style, but they execute on it so well. It's the chaos style. It truly, but you know what? Another thing, too, though, and, and you, you had mentioned one. it before, but Moose has been a massive addition to this team. And it's been great to see the contributions that this guy has brought to C9 because it feels like on the lurk, he's a problem. It feels like he's in those ones. He always comes up clutch, like Ender, or, or rather, Athena. This is a guy who knows how to come up clutch in those moments where he needs it. Yeah, I've been saying this for a long time, but lurking is the highest skill ceiling that you need to learn in order to be really, really good at lurking. You cannot just join the game, join a ranked game, and just naturally be good. You need to fully be aware of your game sense. You need to fully be aware of the comms that are happening all around you and be able to have that push-pull scenario in your head playing at all times. You need to be able to be a playmaker and be insane with timings in order to be good. And for Moose to be this good, yeah. this fast in this team is insane to me. Because what you're saying, it's not just about walking forward and winning your 1v1, yeah. right? It's about connecting your time timings to how your team is playing yep. around yeah. the map, right? When they show m- larger presence. And how the other team is Exactly. Playing. But, like, can they pull a player off the site that lets you mm-hmm. creep up four more steps? And that changes the fight you're taking. That's what has been so impressive to see is that linkage between the new player in Moose and his squad and the IG yelling behind it. Yeah, and it's not just the synergy with the team. It's the level he's doing it at. Yeah. This is a guy who was always right when he was playing in Tier 2, but he's never taken to a land stage like this of this size, playing against teams of this caliber. He yeah. was pulling off lurks like this against a squad like Loud, one of the most experienced teams we have here, which is why his growth so quick has been so incredibly impressive. Yeah, it, it truly has been. I mean, it goes to say that the entirety of this C9 roster has found themselves a rhythm that they just need to continue to build upon. Whereas on the other side, 400 Thieves, I mean, look, a lot of these teams aren't sure what 100 Thieves brings to the table, but I think we're about to find out here today. This matchup is going to be awesome. I'm pumped. I'm excited. So let's Let's go ahead and get ready for it because we're going to send it down to the stage to our announcers so we can bring out our teams. Let's do this. Let's do it. Riot Games Arena, it's time for our second match of the day and it's time for an NA showdown. Let's give it up for your 100 Thieves. <laughs> Let's bring out their opponents. Make some noise for Cloud9! This is the moment. Gotta one of my opponent. Back then they noticed me. Now they know it's me. I'm the closest. It's my time. Yeah, I put that on Bible. No excuses. Gotta get to the final. Take all of my idols and turn them to rivals. It's all another man. A trophy is vital. Game time. Bet I'm coming in clutch. No hang time. Man, they can't keep up. The game's on the line. Seconds on the time. Who can't fight? It's gotta be us. Better under pressure. Go ahead and let it fall on me. I'm destined for it all. You better call on me. They say what doesn't kill you make you strong. Massive matchup here in North American Showdown, and we're going to find out what the pecking order is for the middle of the pack for the region. This is going to be a matchup that gives us a lot of answers as we get ready for it. Yo, put some respect on the C9 name. They're running out here 3-0 right now. Hey, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm 
I'm trying over here. Bill They're Barrett. pushing at the top. They're pushing at the top. You're right, buddy. They're 3-0 and right now. They win here. It's 4-0. and It doesn't lock them playoffs, but it all but does so. This team is looking incredible. But 100 Thieves just got their first win of the season. And as we look at our map select, we're starting on find. And this is where 100 Thieves really impressed me last week. Yeah, honestly, their A execs in particular coming heavy through a short looked phenomenal. I think this team really understands the, the map in itself. And this is going to be a really tough challenge for C9 out of the game. I feel like they set themselves up for success on every single one of their executes. Earlier, you were talking about how structured they were. Their executes are phenomenal. They leave not a single loophole open in order for that to get abused. However, I feel like if there was a team to kind of figure out a little way yeah. to slide in there, it's C9. And also, even if they don't on bind, the next two maps make me nervous, and you got to win two maps to win a series because you've got uh, you've got uh, really? ascent. Yeah, you do. Thanks, John Madden. Yeah, crazy. and we've got ascent and icebox as the next two two big jet maps. That is the oxy domination. That's where hundred thieves are going to be way more pressed to deal with them. Yeah, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, oxy I'm raised is fine. No, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I just my guy claps, bro. He's good no matter what. <laughs> yeah. From the tape, hundred thieves have looked so incredibly yeah, solid of course. on bind, and I feel way less confident in their other maps compared to that one. The question of this matchup is when 100 Thieves get smacked in the face by the muddiest <laughs> men in the business, by the wild, no, no, no. chaotic A team. giant brown handprint on their <laughs> cheek. <laughs> when Oxy is sprinting into their spawn in a post plant, how do they deal with it? Oh, man. All right. Well, the agent select starting to come through here. Nothing really all that crazy to box standard. <laughs> but <laughs> It's a standard for 100 Thieves, for 100 but for thieves. basically no one else. They play this fade gecko comp. We already talked about it some, but their set plays, their combos to re clear space and fight forward off those initiator timings are excellent. It's because they don't have to, you know, waste any time with, with, with Sentinel gameplay, right? They have so much utility to overload into the sites. All right, well, this is it. We're ready to go, folks. Let's send it over to your casters. And one of them, I hear, is an undercover cop. Or is it might be Doug <laughs> or Baby Bang. I'm not too sure. Baby. Either way, they're an arc. Probably Doug. I'm not a narc. I'm not a snitch. I'm not going to say who the undercover cop is. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> I promise I'm, I'm not the feds, bro. I promise I'm not I, the feds. And you don't even look like an undercover <laughs> cop right now, so I don't know where these allegations are coming from. I think the allegations that are serious and must be considered are that Cloud9 are the truth, and they have the opportunity, Dre, to go 4-0, and a team that people didn't expect very much from to begin with. Yeah, and you got to put respect on their name now. They took out Leviathan, who honestly did a massacre against NRG yesterday kind of putting them at the top and the team to take them out was C9. So you, you gotta, you gotta give them praise, man. They're not getting it, yeah, but I think that's yeah. kind of playing into their favor because it just makes them even more hungry to win. Oh, for sure. There's always a little extra, right? You want to yeah. shut up the haters. You want to prove people wrong. Gives you a little, a little more motivation. Cloud9 starting off on the attacking side. And I think for 100 Thieves, there are a lot of expectations too. The team that finally feels like they're starting to come together. Busio's returning back to form. He's fragging. Yeah. And that hasn't always been the case. So this feels like a, a, a team that's starting to peak at the right time. And something really cool for Hunter Thieves is they actually got to watch C9 play this map already this week. Yeah, true. So maybe we'll see some kind of prep and some kind of counters to how C9 likes to play. But Vanity is no slouch to how he likes to IGL on attack. And I'm sure he's going to put a different look in the mix. His presence has already been spotted. And that double oh. swing looked like it was going to be trouble from the very spike beginning. Cryo's going to B. join in on the fun. I have the spike. And numbers in favor of the defense. The spike gets scooped up. And this will give Cloud9 a moment to pause, collect their thoughts, and see what they want to do with the rest of the round. It's so interesting to see how the meta of Valorant changes week by week, you know? I feel like a couple weeks ago, it was just retake, post-plant simulator. And now you're seeing teams just be so proactive with the double swings and everything like that off of utility and whatnot. Oh, and if Oxy walks into here, he's left. surely going to walk into his demise. The shorty's too good. Uh, oh, no. no. He had backup help. Bang over the top, cleans him up. 100 Thieves get the pistol. I was going to say, the problem with the shorty is you only get two shots. All good. But he lived through all of that. It was the boy who lived. And he almost got a knife kill. I think if Bang didn't put in those extra firing shots. He would have gotten it. Look, Look at this. Toxic, but he's still a maniac, maniac, right? <laughs> oh, he was so close. <laughs> oh, dude, you could tell. He Yo, thought they, he was going to get it, too. Dude, they're already standing up in their chairs. There's only been one round. That's the boost deal special, man. Three bulldogs and two rifles. 
a phantom and a vandal while cloud nine have put uh, a sheriff in the hands of oxy you know this is a little different from what we normally see oftentimes oh, they give him the guardian and it's just pistols but this time just the sheriff still no damage done so oh, that was a clean shot there on the angle that boosty was holding and now he's going to reposition mm. rooney with the deagle always good for one at least ender says it the best that he's right a flash out of showers cryo's playing in the smoke it's just set up vanity with a really good trade there, down to 30 hp and they have upgraded a weapon it's gone into hands this episode so it's just oh well, never mind i was gonna say it has the potential but it seems like it's stabilized moose in a 1v3 with the classic will not be able to deliver 100 thieves get their second that's awesome the igl and the main duelist 400 thieves are popping off right now and that's what you want if you're a 100 thieves fan you already see in the energy that Boostio and Cryo were giving off, and I I feel like I've, I don't know if I've ever seen Cryo get out of his chair, ever. Yeah, especially for a pistol yeah, round that he, he he went one and done for, but so hyped for his teammates. Spike planted. And Asuna already looking one dialed in. Already crispy with it. Into the gun round we go. We see 100 Thieves. They carry a couple of those rifles over still two sheriffs so you're already starting to see the financial approach they want to take into this half right they can balance mm -hmm. things out you don't really hurt yourself too much and you're setting yourself up well for the future Blinded. so far c9 just trying to show some early b long presence with that sky flash but the up down here 400 thieves is actually going to buy the rotate of asuna nobody walked up with that utility that c9 threw and they're aware of that so suna will be here with a vandal and a nade for this Damn. actual a hit a full util yeah eu to play contact and he's just his job Damn. is just to delay and control you all maybe back off after they invest too much utility and too many bodies into them oh, oh. i thought he was just gonna try to drop a seize and run away with asuna's ult uh, nade excuse me but decides yeah. to take the fight oxy caught oh my gosh this is such an impressive round for 100 Thieves so far. Wow, Cry, I wanted that gun so standing. bad. Yeah. Doesn't matter, though. They should be able to clean this up. And it's a nice, very basic round from 100 Thieves. They started three on the B site. Understood that C9 didn't make any presence to push them off the actual B long line. And that was all the info they needed to stack three on that site. And Oxy just unaware, kind of all of C9 kind of unaware that somebody could be in showers. A bit of a blunder here. And again, financially, they're set up so well. They won that round mm -hmm. by only buying three rifles. Yeah, crowd got two with a deagle. Yep. Sheriff, I should say. <laughs> Same difference. Uh, bang at 5,500 credits. 47, 4,000. Yeah. It's so much money to play and, with. And the alt economy is starting to flourish, too. 400 thieves. Yeah, Cryo's Cryo one, one off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Asuna, two off. Right there. Not opting to take control of any orbs here. Just, I think they understand that C9 are kind of wild cards when it comes to these eco rounds that they have. So they just want to play really safe, play together, not give anything away for free. Besides an orb or two. <laughs> Lucio should be hearing a lot of what's going on around him here. Yeah. Off of the comms, the rotates come through. Bang has joined the fray along with EU. The question now is for Cloud9, what do you do? You've gotten this far up, you have a split B. You just don't really have the weaponry. But they're going to try to push it anyway. Vanity falls. There's not much, not much else to do here. Oh, that's tough. Oxy actually dinked EU there yep. with his own Sheriff. Got him down to 5 HP. Not much of a fight in this left. round put up by Cloud9, and again, understandably so. It was a stinger, if I'm not mistaken, and then four sheriffs, so. Or at least a couple of sheriffs. So for 100 Thieves, again, we've got to mention the fact the guns are in great shape. The ults are in great shape. They can run away with this thing. Yeah, and the name of the game for Bind lately has been these reclears off of noise cutting from the attacking side. And that's what we saw. That's how you saw vanity get picked off and be long the proactivity from these teams on the defensive side it just 
It's just so good, and it gives you all the info in the world. So even after that kill came through, Asuna and Lucio, I believe, were just double pushing down B long to mm -hmm. secure even more info that everybody was towards that short A area. Four rounds in a row, Asuna with ult, Cryo as well. More proactivity here with a smoke this time. So this should be obvious. And there it is, the spam from Rooney. No showstopper this time. He will not be taken for a fool with that smoke. Mm -mm. That Bustio already trying to even out the numbers. The problem is, is there is Cypher trips up because this is a full gun round. So that is the benefit of C9 running the Cypher compared to another initiator or something else. Rooney can actually lean over and be with the team at times. Doesn't always have to lurk and watch the flank. See the utility start to soar. What a tether! No way! That and was the, sick! And the scam through, they invest the ult. Through all of it though, the defenses on B are weak and they're continuing to crumble. Cryo's the only one here. Obviously, Busio's still playing on the other side of the map. Cryo with so much to do and no targets found. Oxy with three on the round. Cloud9 flirting with getting their first. Spike planted. Oxy just doing Oxy things. He understood the timing there that the Viper wouldn't have his gun pulled out in time. He should be going down here because of this mosh pit. Lucio got his. He got his one. Yeah. I mean, clean round for C9. Putting themselves on the board so far. Thousand percent. I really liked what Hunter Thieves did here, though. Oh, wow. on this long area, this could have gone really south for them had this tether hit more players. What a cool idea! And for Bang, he just got caught lacking, wasn't aware of the timing that Oxy was gonna take, but yeah. he's a player that takes those timings and it wins them so many rounds. So let's see if Hunter Thieves try to punish him for taking timings like that from now on out. And oh, there's gap. Oh, oh, that was the opportunity. They did that on purpose. The thing is, Boosty's often good for those two. Yeah, it's still so early in the in the series. You probably just need to get a little bit more warmed up with the op. Yeah. Scout destroyed. I mean, that gun is a beast of its own. For as much as we've talked about 100 Thieves and their ult economy and how it's starting to snowball, Mm -hmm. Cloud Nine are in a similar position. They have Oxys and Bandities, Zeppas too. Yeah, and winning last round, getting the enemy Brimalt out, mm -hmm. that's a W. I've got your trail. Four players will be here on this A site and expect Asuna to pop this rocket. Yeah, when does he do it? Cryo falls, Asuna goes up top, oh, spots one, landed it on Rui, and got info that there was one closer. It's gonna be traded out by Oxys. Little raise on raise, this time Lucio finding value with the op, but Oxy pushing forward. Cloud9 with an advantage and a considerable one too because the spike has been planted with it. Such a decisive exit from Cloud9. Yeah, Oxy has no hesitation right now when he's going for these aggro plays and pushes, catching Lucio off guard there in the reload animation of the op which is really when Oxy's been at his best, right? When he's not really thinking about it, when he's just pushing forward. Hang on, 100 Thieves may have a shot at this thing. 2v2, Vanity holds the line, Last or at least attempts to. Standing. It drops to one. Moose, Moose has a cam. Far away, it's planted for him too. He just spotted the tail. EU falls, Cloud9 get their second. Wow. A good answer back from C9, stringing two rounds together. And I have a feeling we're in for a hell of a match right now. I think it's gonna be another one of those Teams that win a series of rounds and then the other one comes back and whatnot. And you know, Bustio wishes he got that kill because Oxy, who ended up taking two players out, would have gone down early on. Yeah, for sure. No rocket in that round. Economy still good, though. Full buy. Without 100 Thieves, and that's what you were talking about earlier, how they set themselves up in the round by winning that bonus. They're starting to reach the bottom of that well, though. Feels like they've got to win this one. As far as economy goes, if they want to keep this thing rolling. Oh my gosh. Spike down, beat. Dude, when it's Bang is up. on, he's insane. That was so fast. No Utel used there from C9 either, and that's ultimately what, what their demise was. No Roomba, 
No, no. Flash. Yeah. Can't be walking in a bang's crosshair like that. And now this is just seems so hard. If your C9 Moose actually has to go huge here and win this one of you won in U-Haul against Cryo. And his timing might be just perfect. There's the first. They have a chance now. Ah, but they, I mean. He was just exposed in the open. He, does he take this fight too? Oh, he's so far up. He's getting so much info. He's crazy for repeating that yep. second time. But I respect the confidence. The guy's fearless. He continues to play with fire. Somehow goes without being punished and gets a kill on him. He's finally traded out. Rooney with 15 HP. As Apple's dancing around, feeling some of the pressure of the room, but feeling the pressure of 100 Thieves pushing forward. Heels no flashes. Do they have any utils? Zappa has a dog. Oh, and he's got a gun, but it runs dry! No way! Oh. He would have had that, guaranteed! Yep. No ammo! That's how you lose the round? I mean, they did such a good job bringing that back. Oh, man. That looked effortless from Bang. Yeah. <laughs> so close. The desk was talking about Moose, about how he's been so good on this roster since joining. And it's because of things like that. His team was down on a 3v5, and he knows that he needs to make a play as that lurk in short. Takes the 1v1, wins it cleanly. That's what gave them all the space to almost bring back that round. Yeah, I mean, if it's not for Zeppa's clipping empty, they probably do. Yeah. And Amy right now is probably telling his team of C9, all right, the contact walk-in plays aren't working that much. Maybe we should change something up, use a little bit more utility to set up Oxy and enable him a bit more. And this is... A problem that NRG was having yesterday. They kept trying to do the contact style that they have, but it just kept getting punished by the proactivity of Leviathan. And it's so similar to what we're seeing here from Hunter Thieves. Three round lead for the defensive side. A couple of bolts to work with and a light buy for Cloud9. Yeah, I wonder here what the adaptation is. Cause you're right, the contact stuff hasn't always delivered. Yeah, not so far. And EU is just playing this CT spawn to rotate in with all expecting a death ball. I, as soon as there was any sort of utility, there was the dog from Zeppa. You're right, EU rotates. Oh my gosh. Do they stay? I mean, Cryo might just get a five man spray down here off of contact. Are they trying to draw it out? Are they actually intent on hitting this? Oh, I think they might be. Bring them down. They're starting to creep forward. The Prowler first used. I don't think it got caught. Oxy's doing Oxy things again. He's so far up. And nobody moving from the B site for 100 Thieves, but Cryo peeks out. There That's the it is. I was talking about. Cryo with three. Remaining. Moose, who's playing on the other side of the map, waiting for the flank to come through, never arrived. So now he has to try to win at 1vx again with, without even really having spike in hand. It's hard to say for Oxy what he was dialed in on. Maybe he was worried about somebody being in that shower area again because he got punished in that previous round that we right. saw when he was entering onto the site. So I think he wasn't trained on that U-Haul peak from Cryo because he was worried about somebody being in there. Oh, it's so tough. It was a too. big gap. Yeah, it's so tough too. Like Boosty could have flashed out of it. EU could have dogged out of it and then fought. Like those brim smokes are great for providing some cover, but there's nothing really to impede them from swinging. I, I just don't understand why nobody was holding Oxy's U-Haul there. Cause he made it all the way out towards shower. There's nowhere else for you to really look, yep. but they were just sitting in the back of short, just holding the smokes for some reason, maybe holding for flashes. Like you said, early pit used from bang on a short. Meanwhile, the rest of cloud nine, heavy lean B and they've been quiet about it too. Really no indication of where they're headed. Oh, huh. <laughs> spidey senses are tingling here. Yeah, that's a pixel. He's hit it. Oh. 
I was gonna do it this time. I believe he only saw one cross too. Oh, they're gonna run it down here. They have the dog. Oxy, go kill, Doug. They don't have hookah though. Oh my god, Kyle's just jumping out! Right into his death! Oxy, go kill was right! You've got Moose to help contain too. Bangs in a world of hurt. Now they're gonna have to deal with Cloud Nine's pit. He might. Silent drop here. Oh, it's not enough. The Hannity with the running gun. With the Spectre 2 upgrades to a Phantom, and the round is done. I feel like Oxy Go Kill works 70% uh, of the time. Oh, more than that. <laughs> so reliable. Oh, such a sick transfer, too. To have the mechanical skill to do something like that. Yeah. Especially with an RNG gun like the Vandal. Sometimes those bullets just be going anywhere. Another round through for Cloud9. They're staying in this fight. A big round win, too. The money wasn't great. Yeah, and, uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, just taking B long control. Mm -hmm. This time, instead of cutting noise, just hitting. That's the cool thing about how Vanity calls is that you don't know if they're depositing somebody <laughs> or they're rotating back to their side or if it's actually a full commit. He, he does a really good job of masking the different Vanity types down. of plays that they like to do on attack. Vanity's just been so good these last couple of weeks, man. Yeah, his attack calling has been... It's been, it's been awesome. I mean, it's been exceptional. Yeah. And you see there some of the depth behind it. But with all that said, he's still facing three round deficit. So there's still work to be done. One point away from having his ult online. Up. Here's that proactivity. Remember, there was a smoke last time to suggest that the push was up. Wow. This time it's dry and Rooney's the war to find out what's going on. Yeah, and that's why you see Oxy taking all this free real estate and shower, but the reclear is coming back to shower now. They just have such a good idea of what's going on. Austin awesome, just satcheled in and out of showers. Yeah. Took the angle, tried finding the fight, and it wasn't there. But he gives the space back. Launching smoke. Stim beacon down. Oxy has his ult. Or excuse me, uh, Cryo has his ult. They're like waiting it out. They're trying to bait it out. But instead, he gets to kill on the Zeppa. Uh, uh, move. Asuna, you've got nowhere to go. Wait, what? Oh, he still gets a kill. Almost lands a second. The spike's still not planted. It's been so labored. They had no idea where EU was. He cleans up the round as 100 Thieves gets seven. Oh my gosh. I mean, both teams are doing such a good job in these rounds. I thought it was great for C9 not to get picked off by any of the re-aggression from Hunter Thieves, but also Hunter Thieves being proactive and short, going back and re-clearing showers, making the enemy team use more and more Uto so that when it comes to the actual site hit, they have the advantage. Yeah, there's nothing left. The fact that they, they fell back in the back site unscathed was the win condition in that round. And it really felt like Cloud9 were trying to draw out Cryo's ult that whole time. Yeah. He tapped, what, three, maybe even four times? Dude, Cryo's been playing this U-Haul area, this, this A site in general, very, very well. Yeah. For a duelist main, man, not too shabby. The dog paves the way. Oxy with the ult finds Bang. Jeez. Healing over here. And off of this, they reset. E with a little jump spot. Gets tagged by the cam. And Boosty had the op in the last round, has it this time too. Mm -hmm. Proactivity in A short right now from Cryo. This might be the indicator for Boosty to start leaning over towards that B site. And for C9, any site you hit at right now, you know that there's probably gonna be only two there. Um, oh, what a trade. Yeah, there goes one of them. Boosty's now rotated over. They still haven't made it out. He's got the op. He's so scared. He's just smoked off for now, though. There's really no information of what's happening on site. They're being starved. Oh, no he's one's hookah, though. Oh, he's gotten through. He finds one. And the Dizzy up top step in his lap. And he's going to be what? punished. The spam not connecting. Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> he's not going to do it either. Cryo's left in a 1v2 position now, giving away. He's guessing. Trying to find where the challenge will come from. Anyone who dares swing a moose falls. Zeppel left alone. And he's going to clutch it out for Cloud9. A 3K as Cloud9 get four. Wow. That Last got scary for Cloud9 for a second. That got terrifying. Bustio was actually so scared to walk through that smoke because there could have been a guy in Hookah holding him, right? 
but he has he understands he has to take that gamble if they right. want any chance of winning the round and it got really close good from zeppa there to close this round out because cryo who's been on a heater i felt like one more bullet would have been right on target yes last round of the half cloud nine looking to get their fifth light armor on a couple of members and the alts again favoring hunter thief option is one away from his cryo has his online bang feeling the pressure gives the space up and they freeze yeah oxy not going too crazy this time <laughs> probably wise of him that thing can be so deadly with these close range battles almost feels like you just get shredded in a second if you don't get the headshot he hasn't gone crazy yet Asuna is here now though with Boosty. And here comes the rocket. There was the seas. Asuna buys his time. He's patient. Just a couple of moments now before the rocket's fired. Oxy falls. Surprised they're not investing more. Well, I guess that's why. Boosty gets four. Asuna gets the last. What a great half from Hunter Thieves. Switching sides. <laughs> Dude. Hunter Thieves have been improving so much, and it's showing. I mean, they're taking these fights together. Three players. <laughs> oh, he's like, they're nervous. He's trying to say they could have killed him. I've seen that before. Let's throw it down to the desk, see what they think of that first half. 100 Thieves looking good here at the start, but there were definitely a lot of really cool ideas from both sides. Both teams trying their hardest to try and get the one-up over one another, but 100 Thieves with that round advantage looking solid. Yeah, again, with this double initiator comp, I think we saw some incredible ideas for mid-round reclears and proactivity out of 100 Thieves. This round in particular was one of them, right, where they're setting up this set play back towards long. The molly goes deep, then you have a prowler combined with the dizzy. Even though you don't have that normal KO gecko flash combo, you still have a lot of tools to put together to have these really oppressive kind of spurts of mid-round aggression and I think they threw that into these rounds really well on top of some incredible stall Chris dude yeah I mean the a site was unbreachable for c9 they won a single round where they exact into that side of the map and I think a large part of that was especially Austin's play around that a site peeking through smokes not allowing c9 to ever plant the spike and when they were setting that as a strong side bang did a great job over towards hookah in particular as an anchor I think of that round where two players are constantly just bap, bap. He shuts them both down. The 100 Thieves players are hitting right now. I mean, you can just see the confidence on the stage. Busio's standing up. Yeah. He, he's making a show of it. So what does C9 do to get themselves back into this one here as we get ready for the next half? Uh, again, I think it has to be about setting up Oxy and attacking 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves love to go for their set execs. You need to get in front of that and attack them while they're in motion. Otherwise, their setups are really hard to break. Yeah, those flood retakes have to be the key. And in particular, it has to be built around that star play. Player. A few of the rounds called nine were winning were from Oxy. He's not having a bad game by any means, but we need more from him in the second half. Well, let's see how everything plays out as we get ready for that next half. We'll send it right back over to your casters. Thank you so much, the host, for the throat. Does that sign say I pay for Oxy Spotify? <laughs> Do you actually pay for Oxy Spotify? That's amazing. <laughs> An A4 half in favor of 100 Thieves. We'll see what they can do on the attack side. Yeah, and this Hunter Thieves comp on attack, it's so annoying to hold sights against. So I think C9 is going to have to be really, really proactive against it because that Fade Util, that Gecko Molly, the Viper Mollies, the Raise Nade, everything that comes out on these executes for the comp, it's like you can't even play in, in the site at all. Well, it clears funny. out everything. You would expect them to be playing back a little bit because they have Cypher's Util, it's set up B, and look at how aggressive they've gone A. They've yeah. already cleared showers. They sent two up that way. What's the reaction from Hunter Thieves? I like that they're not straight up speeding right into the B site. I know, and I also like that Rooney expecting it instantly started to rotate B. Mm -hmm. Started to see some of the chess game play out. Rooney's already fallen though. And that that was all on purpose. They took that who could control right and there. held CT for the rotate because most right teams, when they get checked in shower, they just go fast B. They flip the map. Now we're going to see how they deal with all of these trips, all this utility that's so suffocating to try to get through. They've gotten some space. And it looks like they're going to... 
Well, they might get the spike down. They do. Lucio down to 28 HP. Vanity has one smoke left. Just got used. Still has his molly. Bang trying to hold the line. It looks like he's going to get double face. Feels the pressure. Sees the opposition and takes a step back. All oh, while wow, the spike ticks away. Bang snapping on the boost. One falls. Looking for the second. A little bit of damage done. Bang's enough to do it on his own and he cannot. The 1v1 goes the way of Vanity as Cloud9 get their fifth. Wow. Really sick retake from C9 there. And EU kind of just got stuck in that hookah area because they have no sentinel. He was so worried about the flank coming in. That's why he stayed here for so long. Nice shots. Very steady. Yeah. He has to jump out of a smoke drive because his teammates are just getting flooded on the site, right? The mind games are already from C9. And that's why they're going to be pushing these extremities there. and going for plays like that. Because they understand that if no one checks them on that, they have all that free space and they can make a better read on the round. Now keep an eye on, I, I want to really keep an eye on what Boost is doing with his utility round after round. Remember in the previous round, he had those mm -hmm. crazy trips B. This round has rotated over to A. He's got the cam and the two trips set up too. And a judge. And a judge, you're right. This is not something you see very often out of teams buying all deagles, three deagles in the round. They're probably going to have to have light armor unless they can get the bomb down. Yeah. I do think that's how this... Yeah, man, I really feel like that's how this half is going to be decided. If 100 Thieves can figure out how to get past the Cypher yeah. Util, they've got a shot at it. But if Moose continues to run circles around them... <laughs> he, can... he chooses to swing that and just free fire with the classic. This could get ugly. Yeah. A and flawless he, round for Cloud9. And you know what? Dazznerth is somewhere out there watching this. Very proud of what Moose just did. <laughs> Double trip, judge setup. I mean, that just proves it, no? Dazznerth is uh, BCT ready. Yeah, must be. <laughs> Thing is, they have some util to try to find these two and then kind of play the map out. Lucio's got to get a good read on what Luce is doing, where his setups have been. They change it, change it up again? Yeah, and that's what makes it so difficult, right? If the objective is to find where Luce and his setups are and then kind of play around it, it becomes borderline impossible. And the crazy thing is, is he has his cam on A, so it's masking it even further. Yeah. If 100 Thieves decide to pop their Viper wall up and he just shows that he shoots Smoke his down. camera through the Viper wall, and Hunter, if you see that, they're going to think that he's playing that A site again. Right. And that might funnel them into this Uka control. So the mind game's being played like crazy right now. Playing up close with the judge in hand again. Yeah. And lo and behold, they may rotate that way. Flash in the hands of Zeppa. Really nothing to contact it. It's a pop flash off of somebody top site. Oh, yeah, it is. It's off for Rooney, isn't it? And he lands the shots onto Boosty. He's too good at holding angles. And they're about to find out the tricks are here. He gets caught. But he's alive. That's because there was no way for him to for Moose to swing out from Hookah. But he holds the space. They have to understand that he's here. They're guessing where could he possibly be. See some of the spam come through. A big round could go the way of Cloud9 if they can hold, but Moose falls. The spike has been planted. 100 Thieves with full control here. Surely Oxy doesn't clear this angle. That's just so oh, He still, still gets one. his one. Asana up close. Rooney waiting on the other side. He's been steady. He gets his second, but ultimately falls. Last player standing. Zappa's not going to be able to do it. And now Vanity left alone. A Spectre in hand. Cryo and EU both Oxy weak. Some damage has been dealt, but so much left to do. Just not enough time to pull it off. Wow. I actually really liked how Moose played that hookah, but Bang just checking it. Doesn't care that he could be in there with a judge. And you were right the entire time. They were so aware of Moose being just in there. Just a really good post plant from Hunter Thieves after they got the advantage on the site. Yeah, a thousand percent. Having each other's backs and then in and out. That was off of Rudy getting the opener. Yeah. That was a 4v5. So into the next we go. You mentioned it, a smattering of light armor across both teams. 
And a slow round for 100 Thieves. So convinced that there's going to be pressure Boy, showers. Look at where he is on the mini-map. Yeah, and it's a little headshot angle. A little head glitch. But the double trips on short. It's the counter. Asuna from entering in. But he's not even near that side of the map. Not yet. That's the thing. Where the, where, with where the spike is now, 100 Thieves are doing a really good job of leaving all, option, all options available. Yeah. And when you play this down. slow on the attacking side, it really puts doubt in the defenders. Yeah. And sure. sometimes they'll make a mistake trying to expose themselves for info. They did just get a little bit, though. Zeppa's dog oh, no. just jiggled down B long. So they know there's some presence. Yeah, Zeppa just spotted the raise, too. I wonder if that causes 100 Thieves to go towards the A site. But I think Bustio's mouse just died. No, nope. this is this is important stuff. Observers go back. 30 I, seconds left. I saw a referee just trying to help him out right now. So something's wrong with Bustio's setup for sure. That's why he's not moving. 100 Thieves are going to have to exact without him here. Mm. And this is tough. Maybe I feel, you just go for a save? I feel controversy afoot. Yeah, this is tough. Find you. Well, he's on the move now. Ten kind of. <laughs> he can't move he's his mouse. Moved. Yeah, he's just looking forward. But C9 don't know that. Something's not quite right. C9 don't know that, though. So they might think he's lurking, and that's why you see Zeppa still up by the B site. He's just holding W. Yeah, he's just trying to be a body bag for them to trade off of. His mouse died. <laughs> he can't even switch his gun. It's an IGL masterclass right now. Go, we swing need, with me. We need to leave it on to POV, unfortunately. <laughs> Guys, they might win the round anyway. Last player standing. Oh, EU turns around. Perfect timing. It's the craziest round. They won 4v5. Oh, no. He popped. He's popping off. He's like, you guys are. Yeah, you can't say what he said. Yep. I was reading his book. You'd get fined. <laughs> I've never seen that. He's like, bro, I got another one backstage. <laughs> Yo, what if we just watch? What a W IGL just giving his body to the cause. <laughs> Dude, I don't think we're ever going to see a scenario like this again in the match. Watching Bustio define the meta before our very eyes. Oh my God. The reactions from the players, even now, they can't believe it. They're laughing so hard. And for those of you who can read lips, there was a lot of positive words of encouragement going <laughs> across the stage there from Boosty. That's crazy, man. I mean, that was one of the rounds. That was one of the wildest rounds of all time. <laughs> I love how we're just watching him just with his knife out. Just it's not stopping at all. Yep. <laughs> right. It's OK. We got the officials to check him PC. I wonder what happened though. I wonder if it was, I mean, it was clearly a mouse, a mouse. Yeah, a mouse did. Clearly. It just dies on him. Still for C9, I mean, there's no way for them to know that, right? So they're still no. playing the round like oh, it's yeah. like it's a 5v5. And then Zeppa was so late because Bustio didn't show anywhere on the map the entire round. It actually worked out in the Hunter Thieves' favor there. Reddit is going to have a field day with this. Yeah. They got a way to let it charge. <laughs> or at least just play with it plugged in or something. They're figuring it out. I mean, even the C9 players are like, wait, what? What's going on? This guy didn't even have a... This guy didn't even have a mouse that round? That's why he just jumped at us like an idiot? <laughs> he was kind of shaking his head right now. I wonder what... What they're saying to him. Yeah, ho hopefully we get some info here real soon on what's going on. I think we've deduced that the mouse died. Yeah. But is, is are we going to replace the mouse? Is he playing with it plugged in? It's probably going to have to pull a, a demon one and play with it plugged in. Honestly, but I mean, if he can win rounds without a mouse, I mean, I don't think he's worried about yeah, plugged in it being plugged, plugged in or not. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, geez. Bit of a slow, slow start for C9. But still a very competitive game. I mean, 10-6 is it's nothing to be too worried about, but I mean, this next round, the money's not looking too good for 
C9 and it could snowball out of control. I feel like lately we've been seeing these teams that they just get on a streak and they just take the games away. Yeah, they just go hot. <laughs> this was the uh, this was the play of the round, by the way. Oh man. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Again, what he said there was, "You're all lovely players <laughs> on the other side of the stage." They said you guys are all very, very good. You played a great round. Yeah, exactly. With the other team. That's what it was. Yep, definitely. Jokes aside, though, I was actually thinking about this earlier today. Oh, it's a cloud nine, cloud nine timeout right after that little pause. Yeah, I was thinking about this earlier today. Actually, getting used to playing with a wireless mouse and then switching to a wired one. It's really annoying. It sucks. Yeah. I mean, like, I, ever since I switched to wireless, I can't go back to yeah. wired. It does not feel good. I was messing around with a wired mouse earlier today. And it was just miserable. Having to worry about where the cord is and it getting in the way. Yeah. But again, as you so eloquently put, if he can win a round without a mouse, <laughs> surely a wired mouse shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, what do you think Zix is saying in this situation? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Keep doing what you guys are doing is probably what he's saying. They haven't really had to do that much in terms of like intricacy in the rounds. They're just playing a style where on the anti-ecos, they just play back and wait. If you look here, every single player on the side of oh, 100 yeah. Thieves is one away from having their ult online. And that's why you see this deep trip into showers from Moose. Try to get that early info if they decide to grab that orb. But the guns are just not there for C9 to really punish much of anything. If they can manage to scrap a couple kills, that could be an opening for Oxy to pop his ult and maybe secure the round win. And that would be huge. Oh, it'd be massive. If they can steal this round away, that would be great. But the dizzy these, goes over the yeah. top. It's so hard to hold in sight. Remember what I said earlier? These mollies are going to come out with the fade util. Is there anything to clear Zeppa here close? No, I'm up, Mosh. You think it'd be used dogs? Yeah, oh, and the first has be. been used. You see all of that utility. Look at that tether. Ben and mollies caught. everywhere. But he's going to survive. They have nobody on the other side of the map, though. So they fear. can't really go back and take the TP without it being a risk. And I fall's only tagging one. They have to understand that Hookah's a weakness, that they don't have that space. So we're going to have to see them fight this fight on two fronts. I imagine they're going to try to take elbow here to equalize things a little bit and alleviate the pressure that's coming from spawn. Yeah. Babushi is going to be stuck. He's in a help. bad, bad place. He needs help. He falls. There was Oxysol instantly traded. But Cloud9 are making a run at this. They have numbers, advantage. But they don't have run advantage. And that might be the difference maker. Where's Bang going? Zeppa's hunting. Doesn't get the kill. Both bolts used. He's got to know. There it is. Rooney and his sheriff cannot pull things out. 100 Thieves get to 11. Yeah, and you set that up perfectly. Once that fade all came through and they realized it only tagged one person and it tagged them that late, they understood that there was nobody actually on the site right. and that they're probably stuck in hookah and that causes Cryo to smoke off hookah and they just play their gun advantage. They knew that C9 didn't have any rifles going into this round. And still almost got dicey. That's a really nice trade from Vanity. Oh, the gorgeous trade from Vanity. Did I get inside yeah, even head? taking the, the elbow control, they understand they have to take that space. Otherwise, right. they're just going to get pinched on site, kind of how Boosie just got stuck out there. And more proactivity. This time from C9. Oxy should be good for this kill. Oh, 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 oh. Almost gets a second. But Vanity is able to help. Great trades. EU took showers on his own. With no delay. Cryo still has one smoke here. Poison's off. Between that and Bane's util, they should have some room to work. Toxin screen down. Guess who's waiting on the other side? Not a judge this time. It's a phantom. Oh, his timing is terrible. Oh. But Zappa fills in on the space. Cryo, does he dare swing? He does, and he wins. That's a big, big kill. With 56 seconds left, they have some time. They actually have an outrageous abundance of time. The thing is... Cryo's already in U-Haul. Do they feel like they're committed to this? 
You don't really have a choice. Rooney finds the space, finds the timing, almost snaps. He hears two. Cryo too, but somehow Cryo gets away. Cam is still here though, and trips. That's such a miserable feeling. Oh, he's about to get tagged left. as well. It's just gonna be straight up aim duels from this point on. And they know where he is. The cam wins the first duel. Oh, he's gonna run into the trip. No way! Holy smokes, Cryo! Match point. Unbelievable. The Red Bull clutch to get 100 Thieves to map point. If you're C9 there, I mean, it's tough. There's not much you can really do. No. You did almost everything right. You wanted to peek together, but the angle just was perfect for Cryo in the moment. I mean, Rooney got wall bang and headshot. I didn't even see him on a screen when he peeked. I guarantee it. That's tragic. What can you do about that? There's nothing you can do about that. No. And before you even have really any sort of moment to think about it, we're right into the next. Hundred Thieves are already investing a ton of util. Dude, that is such a cool. Oh, he's really far up. Hello. Be long default. As I say that, Moose does the the funny again on short. <laughs> and that trip did not get broken. No. He might do it again. Oh, he's gonna get so much info off of this. One, two, spotted. Yeah. <laughs> In 4K. Look at this. <laughs> Somebody peek the guy top Game truck, one. please. Dude, this is one of the silliest games I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, now he drops. And then <laughs> man, he dies like that. Right there. Boosty with 14 HP, commits to getting the spike down. Cloud9 with numbers and health to try to fight this thing, but the judge from a distance will not do that. Oxy tries to find high ground, gives it right back. And Zappa's on the flank. He's going to find the timing too. A 2v3 quickly turns into a 2v2, and remember, Boost, he's so weak. What? Well, it's just not enough. Can Zeppa do it on his own? Finds the first. Asuna patiently waiting as the spike ticks away. Time evading Cloud9. Zeppa has to take the fight, finds it. And he's going to get the defuse. Wow. Very well played. Boosty. Clutch. Getting a little too ahead of himself there, feeling it a little bit too much. Had they just played the bomb, made Zeppa come a little bit closer, maybe double swing off the top. You secure the win there. Why give free 1v1s and give a team like C9 the chance to come back? We've seen how crazy C9 can be when they get the momentum that they need. But I really like how Hunter Thieves have cooked up on this comp, especially on, on that round. They had a... Gecko Molly that cleared out all of Octagon while EU is pressuring B long. And then they're taking hookah control as well with the Gecko Flash and the Dizzy. It was really cool. For 100 Thieves here, just one weapon in the hands of Asuna Cryo as a shorty. I mean, they're really digging deep on this one. He still somehow gets the kill. He's already back sight. They don't have showers control, at least not yet. They're investing the pit on this? They're convinced they can win it. They've got the spike down. And he's going, <laughs> he's gunning for more. There's no way this is how this map ends. E, you got a 1D from short to heaven as well. Actually, given how this map has gone, this would be fitting. Yeah, it just seems like, <laughs> it seems like everything Oxy's is getting, leading the way of Hunter Thieves winning yeah, this map for sure. Oxy's getting wrapped. He's the last one alive. Oxyna cleans him up 13-7 in favor of 100 Thieves. Jeez. I don't know. I mean, how do you break that down? I mean, you know what I truly believe it was? The mouse? The mouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think that a lot of this match going the way of 100 Thieves had to do with the fact that C9 had played this map already this week. And I think they prepped very well. And I think when you play against this comp, it's kind of tough because like, like I said, if you stay in sights, you're just going to get owned by all the utility that Hunter Thieves yeah. have. But if you're proactive and Hunter Thieves is holding for that proactivity in the right ways, you're going to get punished in that aspect as well. So it's, it's kind of hard. You got to try to bait out this utility a little bit earlier. And it's not an easy, no, not, not an easy thing to do. No, it also but, doesn't help that, I mean, Austin has started the game 10 and two. He finished like yeah. 22 and 11. Cryo also popped off. And then there was all of the silliness, the whimsy. 
if you will. There's a lot of silly things that happen in this My map. In this map. Yeah. And we wouldn't have it any other way. A break and then map two. We'll see you guys on the other side. in favor of 100 Thieves. Jeez. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through Attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're gonna be able to fight this. Red Bull gives you wings.